it's Shannon aka QB Crossing and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we have a very special island tour. If you've been following my channel, you know I haven't done any island tours in a little while, but I had to tour this island by Colin Crossing. You probably know of him already if you are on Animal Crossing Instagram. He is a extremely talented creator and his codes are just to die for. So he is releasing his DA today and we are getting an exclusive guided tour by Colin and I'm going to show you guys around. I am just so, so excited for this tour. So if you enjoyed the video, please be sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment, let me know what you thought, but let's just get right into it. So we've landed on Moon. This is Colin's Island. He has a blue airport. And I'm just gonna open up the map as always to see what's going on here. You guys can grab the dream address at the bottom there. I'll also have it in the description for you all as well. But this just looks amazing already. So just to give you a little bit of context, this is a spooky suburban island, which is such a cool theme and I have honestly not seen anyone do anything like this. But we have two resident reps or three resident reps and then we have Lobo, Wolfgang, Bam, Lucky, Vivian, Olivia, Agnes, Sly, Kid, and Jacob. Some villagers I actually haven't seen before, but the terraforming looks really cool already, and I am just so freaking excited. So I always like to open up my camera app when I get to an island. Oh, look how cute Colin is, but look at this. So Colin actually made this, all of the paths that he uses on his island, and I use a lot of these as well myself, but look at how cool. Ooh, did we get something? We got a pinwheel. I love it. And a boba coffee. Oh my gosh. I'm going to hold the boba because it's just so cute. Let's do a little clap or something so that he knows we're thankful. But look at this. So the thing I really love about Colin's pathing is how natural the edges look, but it still looks so realistic. All of these details and the dirt pathing that he made as well are just so gorgeous. These edges also, it has such a realistic feel that I honestly have not seen any other creator do as well as Colin does. So it looks like he's looking up here. Oh my gosh. Okay, and like I said, he makes all of the codes himself and he actually made, I'm trying to find like a good reaction here. Let's just do like excited or something. But he did this house that is actually TP'd. This is just the perfect tour for spooky season and Halloween. I just love all of the creations that he has going on here. And also, if you're looking for some inspiration with flow, I can already tell that his island flows so nicely with the pathing that he's done and the way that he's incorporated his inclines and custom codes everywhere. So there's actually a resident rep house here. We're not going to be going in any of the interiors today. Colin said he only really has uh, a, like a main room done, so he just wants to focus on the actual island, which I'm more than happy with. But look at this, look at this little view right here with these two houses and the pathing. And then we actually have an incline going down this way to the peninsula. This is so cool. Let's drink our boba with Colin. I love this so much. I actually think I might want to do something like this for my peninsula because it's just such a great idea, especially when you have a small space like this, to have an incline leading to it. This way you don't have to worry about your terraforming on either side of the peninsula you could have a cliff there and still make it accessible with your incline i truly just can't get over all of these little details like the football and the lawnmower how how is colin making this look so good and realistic okay look at this diagonal path going on here there's a reason why every single post Colin makes completely blows up on Instagram because he has this ability to make these areas that feel so, so real. And I just can't, I can't get over it, especially because he makes the paths himself as well. Like, how are you such a good island designer and you make your own paths? I don't understand, truly. Oh, look at how this kind of transitions here with the jail bars and another diagonal path. And he even managed to do some amazing terraforming here. 
Look at that view. I feel like I'm in a park somewhere. This does not feel like Animal Crossing. That is just gorgeous. And this little picnic spot. I'm sure if we open up the camera app, we'll get a really nice view of that terraforming behind here. That, oh, and that's actually his river mouth back there. Just blends in so nicely with all the terraforming work he's done. This is, oh, there's just so much I could say about how beautiful all of this is, but I'm going to try to add some other words to my vocabulary for this tour. And also, how cute is Colin with the little halo on? Actually makes it really easy to follow him around, which I like a lot. Look at this villager house over here. This is so hidden within the cliffs that I love it so much. And I love that everything's kind of like off of this beaten path. So you have the more natural path by the houses, but then you have this really nice road pathing, really connecting everything together. Okay, so when I saw this build on Instagram, I think I literally almost spit out my coffee because he actually made a garage and this looks like my house at home almost, like where I grew up with a little basketball net and the, the road. Oh my gosh, I just love all of it so freaking much. I... I truly don't think I could get enough of this island. I could probably just hang out here for the rest of my life and be pretty content. Even the way that he's mixed in the country fencing somehow works really well. I saw that Colin grabbed his ladder, so I'm going to do the same as well. Looks like we're going up here. So just so you guys know, if you're following along, if you're at the dream address now, oh my gosh, did I get stuck? This is the way to go if you're not like me. Oh my gosh, she's probably like, where the heck is she? I went the wrong way. There I am. Okay. <laughs> there I am. Haha. Uh -huh. Sorry it's hidden. No, it's me. I just can't see anything. Oh, look at this house over here as well. Oh my goodness. This is really like what spooky dreams are made of. This feels like a little Halloween town and I love everything about it. Look at that code too, like the little plastic bag on the floor. Views, okay, let's go over here for the views. Love, love. This is such a cool view and somehow making these really like abandoned feeling items so aesthetic. I mean, you have the little trash over there. You have that, um, all of those, what are, what are they called, like the oil barrels, somehow looking so good and fitting in so well. I think he wants us to go back over this way, so also I must say how wonderful it is to have a guided tour from Colin because he obviously made this island, so knowing the way that he intends it to be toured is really special. And I just feel like I'm with a little celebrity right now. All right, let's get our boba back. It looks like me and Colin are just off on a little coffee date. We're just hanging out, having fun, going around the park and the neighborhood. I love it. Look at this house over here. Oh my gosh, please, I'm moving in. I will just sit inside this pot. You won't even notice I'm here. Look at all of this, oh my gosh. This is like a 7-Eleven. <laughs> And again, I need to keep reiterating that Colin makes all of these codes. Look at that shopping cart. That is some br big brain energy there. Let's zoom into that and show just how insane that is. I absolutely love this. Gorgeous. Oh, we're getting the ladder again. Let's hope I do not get stuck this time because that will just be embarrassing for me and and for everyone watching so let's go up here also look at that fencing or the standee design so not the standee the simple panel design so cool <gasps> okay this view i saw this on instagram as well and i'm sorry but we're gonna need to like take a second here because this is the coolest freaking view that i've ever seen in the game let me put my ladder away because we need to just have a really nice view here oh my gosh 
Look at that. How does his brain work to even think about doing something like this? Let's get out of the frame so we could take a really pretty picture here. I just think I've died and completely went to heaven. There's a whole village in the hills and behind the trees. Oh my gosh. This diagonal pathing, I can't I can't get enough of it. It's so good. There's some more view. Oh my gosh, the view gets better. Don't worry, the view gets even better somehow. How? My whole camera roll is going to be Collins Island and I'm not mad about it at all. This is so cool. Even the festival garland looks really good as well. So he's using those doll houses for houses and it's such a smart idea. I also just love the way that he terraforms. It feels so natural and somehow just flows so beautifully. It's really hard, I just want to note, to have a suburban feel or a town feel like Colin has while also mixing in natural aspects. To get that right balance, it is really hard. So kudos to Colin for creating such a masterpiece. We're going to follow him back this way. Again, can't get enough of that simple panel design. It looks like an abandoned park or something, but it is just so freaking good. All done with ladders. Okay. Yay. Let's clap with that. I really need to organize my interactions or my reactions so that I'm a little bit faster with these. I also want to get my boba back. Okay. Sorry. It's all for the aesthetic. Colin understands. Look at this little graveyard over here. And I'm just really liking the transition from the... Uh, not stone, the concrete pathing to this like dirt pathing. Like I said, oh my gosh, we have another beautiful view. It's not easy to merge two themes together. Let me sit with Colin. Oh my gosh, we're so cute. We're so cute. Oh, look at that in front of the bridge. Oh, I love it. I love it. This is gorgeous. Look at that view right there. Oh my God. I, I love how you could see the road kind of peeking through everywhere as well. And I have never seen the Red Zen Bridge look so good. I myself cannot really make that bridge look good, but it looks really nice with the red trees everywhere. We're going to go down this way. So we have another incline here and we have another house over here. I love the way that the houses are laid out also. It's just so nice. There's something so calming and beautiful about this island. I think it's the fact that it's so realistic that it just reminds you of somewhere you've been before. Like no matter where you're from, this probably reminds you of a town that you've been to or somewhere that you've seen, at least in photos. This is really cool to hide the shops back here so we have nook's cranny over here and again just really nicely flowing from all of the paths that he's using and oh look at this we have a little cafe he's getting ready for brewster i see oh we got to finish up our boba now love it let's have another some cool action shots oh i love it he always uses a bunch of items that I've never even thought to use, like those little little diner stools. And you know what? Sometimes I think I should just look through Colin's pictures and think about what items he's using because it always is fun to use some stuff that you haven't used before in game. Like even this whole picnic setup. I don't know that I ever really use like the cheese wheel, but the colors match so nicely. And that's actually his museum right there. So if I open up the camera app, look at how cool that looks with the diagonal pathing and to the bridge behind there as well. I'm gonna like kind of open up the camera app over here as well so that you could see, but it looks really, really great. Love, love, love. Okay, so we're gonna continue this way as well. And we ha are going to walk and see Abel sisters, super cute. Oh, we're gonna go this way. And this has a very much like park feel I'm getting. I wonder if we're gonna see a park somewhere. 
Okay, let's see. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I'm in like a weird angle right now. So let me try to open up the camera app and maybe go like this to see. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. We're on like a little secret picnic. I love it. And I love that this was like a hidden way to get here. Oh my goodness. I'm getting so much inspiration for my more like town and pathed areas on my island. This, it looks like a little kind of farmer's market. Imagine being here right now in fall. Like this is my dream. I just want to hang out here and pick some pumpkins and get a pumpkin coffee and walk around and run some errands. That is really the dream. Oh, look at this. Using those floating blocks as a little roof. So big brained. I can't even. Poor Colin's probably trying to walk so slow because I am admiring every single little thing that I see. <laughs> but he is a real trooper for letting me tour and dealing with me walking slowly and admiring every view that I've come across. This is also a really cool setup for the camp. And this is somehow just so aesthetic, this little soccer field. I... I really just adore everything about this island. I don't think I've ever kind of fangirled so much about an island before. Everywhere I go, everything I see, I'm just, if you can see me right now, my jaw is pretty much perpetually open throughout this whole tour. <laughs> and he is just too, too talented. If you guys um, have seen Colin's work before, I truly think that these codes that Colin released pretty much took the entire Animal Crossing community out of burnout because we all like freaked out when we saw these codes. Oh, this is the cul-de-sac. Oh my gosh. I think this is when Colin like announced his new theme and we were all like, what the hell? Who would even think of doing this? This kind of rounded path and all of these houses, even all the details by each house is so perfect, like the lawnmower and the trash bin somehow looking really beautiful. It's just so good. And the tree in the middle, oh, we need more. I don't want this tour to ever end. So I'm, I'm already sad that we've seen a lot. And then look at that really cool view back here. This is making me want to do some terraforming and this is actually just giving me so much inspiration because I can never choose like one theme that I want to stick with so it just shows you that you can do something a little bit more structured but also oops I don't know which way I'm supposed to go but also have the really natural elements mixed in as well so if you want to do city core maybe you could do city core and natural core together because colin somehow made multiple cores work within this suburban island and it is really inspiring okay look at this oh my gosh look at that little campfire with the marshmallows okay this is definitely the park this is such a cool overgrown feel I love the little playground that we have going on and all of the leaves everywhere. Oh, it's so cute. Again, this like little basketball court looks really, really cute. And the water fountain, even the elephant slide. You know you've won the game if you made the elephant slide look good. That's, that's the truth. Oh, I think we're done. I think that we're back at the entrance. Let's clap again. Thank you so much, Colin, for having us. This was probably my favorite tour that I've ever been on. You seriously blew me away. I hope that you guys enjoyed this as much as I did, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! Mm -hmm.